everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. This is another challenge run, this time suggested as a top comment on one video, I forget which one it was, but it was from a YouTube commenter, htaed23, htaed23, and this is called, I'm a charge in my wait for it, but I kind of like to call it, uh, commenter's revenge or something along those lines. Basically, we're starting with Brimstone here, you might say that hardly seems fair, well we also have Mutant Spider, quad shot. Uh, chocolate milk, charging shots, Ipecac, poison shots, and I thought there was one more, Sacred Heart. Anyway, what all this basically means is that we have the longest charging brimstone I think it is possible to get in the entire game. Uh, and we're gonna try to do the entirety of the game with it. By the way, not only is it the largest charging brimstone of all time, but we can't cheat because in actuality, oh we can't even go to that room because it's Cellar XL, um, in actuality the first brimstone is gonna miss every single time because we're using technology, or sorry, uh, brimstone and chocolate milk in conjunction with one another, which always, and I do mean always, I probably didn't even have to use a bomb there, but it all worked out for the best I guess, uh, always makes the first shot miss. But anyway, we found our secret room here. The secret room contains a slot machine. Just another slap in the face for what could potentially be a very difficult run for us here. I hate everything! Okay, charge up the brimstone. We gotta play this like Mark of the Ninja or something. We gotta wait in the wings until we get a chance to actually take a good shot. Please, by the way, I, I gotta move my keyboard here because it sounds terrible. But, uh, item rooms are allowed. But we can never take any item that overrides brimstone. I don't know why I'm giving so much health to Demon Judgment. Come on, are you serious? I was hoping he would give me, like, Spirit of the Night or something. Can't always get what you want, though. So we're gonna hopefully get some more health. Soon, in which case I will be able to go back to Demon Judgment, but for now, let's just get some health. Try to beat the game the old-fashioned way, and by old-fashioned way I mean arguably the most new-fashioned way I could possibly imagine. <clears throat> Pardon me, got something... A little stuck in my throat there. So we're gonna move on. Boss room should be fairly soon. Again, first shot always misses. Beautiful! Taking tons of hits here already. I don't know how I got that spirit heart, actually. I must have forgotten how that came to be. I don't know how this run's gonna work out. I mean, we're starting very powerfully here. Unfortunately... Oh, there's one key for us. Uh, unfortunately, we lack... Basically, any way to defend ourselves from enemies that come in quickly. Because that's mainly our, our number one concern right now. We get the game kit. I re-rolled it and got Ghost Baby. I'm not sure, that seems like kind of a side grade to me. When it's actually used, Game Kid is substantially better than Ghost Baby, of course. However, that it would require me... I couldn't move there for a second. Uh, it would require me to give up my D6, which I don't necessarily want to do just yet. So I feel okay about that switch that we made there. Ghost Baby will provide a little bit of protection against asshole enemies that rush me down. Uh, not a lot, but a little bit, hopefully. And we're still just looking out for another key here, basically. We're back to full health, which is awesome. This room shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know, my, my keyboard is messing up or something. I continually find myself incapable of moving uh, from one side to the other side, if, if that makes any sense. Sometimes I find my lateral movement impinged, if you will. Or hindered. Not impinged. There we go. Uh, always get those two words confused. Let's continue onwards here. Drop a key if you have a single red heart within you that beats with benevolence and generosity. By the way, I'm not sure what's going on with the frame rate issues here. I think it might just be like a weird interaction of Isaac and the cheat engine in, that, in all actuality. But uh, I've been checking the videos, there's been no desync. So apart from some very minor frame rate issues, at least minor to me, maybe this will be bombs or key. Uh, apart from some minor frame rate issues, everything else is going fine here. So, our key is range up. That is completely meaningless considering the items we have, of course. Uh, I actually think I might have hit somebody with brimstone there, but it might have just been Ghost Baby hitting. The reason I'm so surprised is because, uh, of course, I was under the impression that brimstone plus chocolate milk always misses on the first shot. Anyway, so far so good. It's when we're really going to be at risk is when uh, we start entering later floors. Particularly silkworms are going to be the biggest pain in the ass. Because they're just going to rush you down like crazy. Takes forever to charge to get them, and it's possible, although unlikely because we have so many damage modifiers. But it's possible- Why are you kidding me? It's possible to take more than one shot. So I'm really gonna have to choose my shots wisely here. Really gonna have to get to love the, uh, the brimstone like sweep where you kind of move down as you go. Anyway, for now, let's just fight our boss. We have no key to go to that second item room. Might as well get that one out of the way because we know that that's gonna miss. Uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, it's gonna take us maybe five or six brimstones here to get our Duke of Flies killed. 
And do I even want a deal with the devil is the real question. I, I guess I do if it's like Guppy's Paw. We're definitely re-rolling that. Well worth it. Uh, yeah, I probably want a, uh, a deal with the devil if it's like Guppy's Paw maybe. Oh, this is not good. Just play it cool. He shouldn't be that bad. You just gotta make sure you, you keep your distance so you have time to dodge. Again, this Brimstone is a pain in the dick. Fully charged Brimstone does a lot of damage though. Just gotta make sure I actually keep the shot on him at all times. And that will be more HP upgrades for us. And a fairly good first floor in the books as we head down to uh, hopefully not an XL floor. Caves Power 1. Beautiful. So, so far so good. You've played right into my hand, HTAD23. You've underestimated my love and aptitude for Brimstone. Please, thank you, Ghost Baby. I didn't want to waste a charge. Although, we waste a charge every time we go into a room anyway. So we might as well just get that out of the way as soon as possible. What do I want? I want, uh, I want like a Halo of Flies. I think that's gonna give me, like, the most protection from enemies that come at us quickly. Of course, we could, we could alter that a little bit. You know, if it was a perfect world, I would love a Sacrificial Dagger or something. Or three Sacrificial Daggers. Oh no, I think I'm just giving people an, an idea for a challenge run. Full speed, three sacrificial daggers, if you can even do that. Sometimes the game gets a little bit wonky about combinations like that. Yeah, full speed, three sacrificial daggers, and no tears. Like zero range or something. Lemon mis- or not lemon mishap, number one. I don't know. You gotta kill people with the sacrificial daggers. I'm thinking here, maybe you get Book of Shadows along with it. Maybe you get, uh, well we have enough money to make the shop worthwhile, but sadly no keys. Uh, maybe you get, uh... Yeah, Book of Shadows, maybe you get Poison Touch to go along with it, I don't know. Let it percolate in your brains for a while. I'll be here when you come up with the correct solution for how that run should go. It actually feels like, thanks to Chocolate Milk, I can actually fire Brimstone whenever I want. Oh my god, why is Brimstone firing continuously? Is this awesome? Y slash N? Has the challenge run gone completely off the rails? Well... Only thing I can say about that is not my fault. Although, I will say, the shots don't really do all that much damage. In keeping with the spirit of the challenge, I'm gonna try to be a nice guy and wait for Brimstone to be fully charged before I shoot it. But it's weird how that is working out for us now. When every time I've used Chocolate Milk and Brimstone in the past, this has not really worked. I mean, we can do it like this, but it doesn't really do that much damage anyway, so why bother? You know, I'm not here to, to beat the commenters, there's nothing like that. So I'm going to try to keep in spirit of the challenge here. No use getting bragging rights when you cheated, basically. So let's see what we got here. You are dead. How about this one? You are now... Oh, come on, no! That was really tight, actually. We get a coin purse, which I may reroll or may not, depending on what we've got in here. Obviously, we cannot take Mom's knife. Oh, are you kidding me? We'll get him. Um, so should... Let's, let's take the pact... I don't know why I did that, but I think maybe it'll make Brimstone charge fully faster. We're gonna reroll this, we get a speed upgrade, which is not nearly as good. But we do have a key now, so we can go to shop or item room. Everyone's screaming, go to the shop, you fool! Maybe I will. What do you think about that? Go to the shop, buy an item, maybe be able to buy a key as well. Well, that didn't work out very well for us. We'll buy this half-price bomb, which we can maybe use to blow up a tinted rock or something. And then we will wait for a key to take us to this item room. But in any case, so far so good, I'm digging it. I don't know how I feel about taking the pact, but uh, who knows, maybe it'll end up being a, a game breaker. Oh, that was a terrible dodge. Again, I'm gonna blame that one on my keyboard, but we didn't actually take any damage, so no harm, no foul. What we got in here? Money and red hearts. The money could potentially be useful a little bit later. The red heart, not so much right now, because everything's going okay. I think if I was doing this run in the future, what I would do is maybe take out chocolate milk and then I don't know if you'll be able to fire brimstone in almost instantaneously, which will remove that temptation for me to basically shoot as soon as possible. And I know a number of people are going to like turn this run off two minutes in and the reason I waited for this disclaimer for so long is because I want those people to get the fuck out of here before they hear this and you know cry in their Wheaties. Northern Lion, how can you do a challenge run that has brimstone in it? You voted for it! You dingoes, it was the number one top comment. Don't blame me for the failings of democracy if you don't find this to be an entertaining run. Perfectly, or personally, I think this is a perfectly entertaining run, and you are just insatiable. Or unpleasable, if you will. 
Uh, let us now go down to the item room. I could, if I'm feeling lucky, bust this open. Let's do that. What do we have here? More keys, more money, more bombs. That worked out very well for us. So, we will come down to our item room here. We do have D6 charged and on the ready to take whatever we want. Or whatever we can get, I guess. First one is the shears. Very tempting. We're gonna reroll it. We get Yum Heart. Much worse. We're gonna try to get one more reroll available, but if not, uh, I've missed out, quite frankly. It would have been best for us to take the shears in all likelihood. It does a ton of damage, especially against bosses. Uh, we're not gonna get another D6 charge. That's really terrible. Oh well. The thing is, I didn't want to get rid of my D6 so early. Shears is a great item. It, it might have given me a greater chance of success. But hey. Shit happens from time to time. Let's take our bomb. Let's take, uh... Oh, you know what? We might actually get a chance to get that D6 recharged. And at least have an opportunity... ...to atone for previous mistakes. What is this pill? Telepills into the second secret room? Awesome! We're gonna take another HP upgrade down to the next floor in all likelihood. Unless I get hit like crazy on this room right here. Starting to look increasingly unlikely. And we will check out our chest here, which gives us more money. But mostly what we're concerned about. D6, now fully charged. Another key that I missed out on here somehow. The tower card, not useful in the least right now. But who knows, maybe on a room like a room full of silkworms, it might be a good idea to pop that open and kill all those silkworms before they get a chance to murder us. But for now, item room is our number one priority. And inside the item room, we find portable slot machine. All right, so all of that was for naught, but we did get the HP upgrade by way of the Eternal Heart. So I think it's fair to say this floor has been basically milked dry. I've got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? We're going to head down to the next floor before I make more embarrassing Meet the Parents references. So we're going to see what we've got in here. Obviously, first shot is going to fail, as it does every time. I don't like this room, as you might expect. That is a beautiful brimstone shot, though. Let's wait until our face turns red. I'm doing my best to abide. Oh. Uh, abide by the rule that you need to have fully charged brimstone before you shoot. If I'm making the mistake, I, I assure you it's not out of maliciousness on my behalf. Trying to respect the rules of the challenge run. Dead Sea Scrolls, I don't like it. No stars. We'll take our key. What do we have in the shop? A ladder. Very worthwhile. As well as a spirit heart, which we will certainly take. And I'm starting to feel good about this run. I'm starting to feel like maybe we have a chance at, at success. I guess the number one thing that I'm going to get from taking that Pact earlier. Ooh, HP upgrade. Uh, that I'm going to get from taking the Pact earlier is that we do get a little extra damage on our Brimstone shots, which is valuable when you're not going to be shooting it very often. We get a PhD. Let's take it. It's a passive. I like it. It, gives, it allows... It frees up our D6 so I can now use it on... Um, oh, no. Ah, I should have gotten away on the ladder there. Uh, it frees up our D6 so I can now save it for the boss room. Everything's good. Beautiful shot. We've got red hearts we can't use yet, but maybe if we come across an arcade or something. Who am I kidding? I'm far too lazy to backtrack. Not to mention, without a map, I, I certainly won't remember where they are. Okay, we'll get out of this room and see what we got in here. Again, just gotta fire the shots. I think, like, the first shot has gotta go as quickly as possible just to get it out of the way. Like, there's no point in preparing for something that's not gonna do you any good. Uh, we get a compass in here. That is... Pretty much inarguably the thing I most love to get from uh, boss trap or mob trap rooms. It's just a full on compass. Saves you 15 cents, gives you one of the best items in the game for uh, the late game anyway. And we got these dick bags. I'm not sure if these are being fully charged here. Sorry, the temptation got the better of me. Oh, come on! Well, I guess that's what I get. Pick that up. And now I think we go down. Imagine that this world layout is like a C. I think we need to go down to the bottom right part of the sea. Unless I haven't been to the left yet. I've been to the left, okay. So we're gonna go far to the right here. I think this is the right way to go. Yes, okay, I've never been here before. Perfect. Pick this up. We got fistula. Uh, we might be able to kill all fistulas at once here. Just time it appropriately. Uh, close. Ish. And now the thing has gotten a little bit more Difficult than I originally anticipated, but hey. Silkworm's not much of a problem when our Brimstone takes them out in one hit and can take out several in one hit, actually. Zombies, again, not much of a problem either. Because of that. And the, it, the interesting thing about this run is how it kind of changes the, the balance of power when it comes to the enemies. Like, previously weak enemies like flies and grandfather flies are now total pains in the dick. And previously strong enemies 
as long as they're slow, don't represent that big of a threat. Because we're big and slow as well, and that's going to work for us. We got Bum Friend. I'm going to re-roll him. We got Rainbow Baby. Cool. I'll take it. Increases our familiar coefficient a little bit. We're going to be fighting the Wretched. The downside, of course, to, to what I just did is that we don't have our D6 available to re-roll, you know, deals with the Devil or uh, our Boss Trap Room, or Boss Room item here, but that's okay. I can't believe that hit nobody. That one didn't. Uh, we get Cat of Nine Tails, so it did backfire a little bit, but oh well. It's going to make our Brimstone travel that much faster. I'm not sure how much faster than instantaneous you can get, but we'll find out soon, I guess. And that, they are basically all dead. This regular fly is pissing me off a little bit. Neutral fly, I guess, not regular fly. And we'll see what we got over here. I have the ladder so I can get to that chest. I kind of expected greed to show up. The good news is, it's not going to be our last shop. We pick up a steam sail. Why not reroll it just for kicks? Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> now, if we ever get a better spacebar item, uh, this will pay for itself. And obviously, we do want to get rid of our... Uh, D6 as soon as possible. I mean, it's still good. And now with the addition of the chest, the D6 is viable in the late game because it can give you four rerolls on one room, basically. Uh, and, and it can really impact your game, but it's still not as good as something like a, a nail, obviously. Can't believe that guy didn't die until then. Forget me now. Interesting. Tempting. Uh, in all likelihood, I won't take it, but it raises some interesting possibilities, shall we say. It might, maybe it's good. If we don't find a spacebar item, it might be worthwhile. My thinking mostly being, I can take that, get some more sweet items, uh, and, you know, just continue my rampage, basically. We're just gonna stand still in this room. No! Oh! Well, okay, I botched it. Miserably. You should die. I'm gonna come down here. I lost W, A, S, and D on my keyboard for a second there. Alright. We got pill we got the PhD, so we should go get this. And this is going to be something we don't know yet. Uh, yes. Health up. Okay, we'll take that for sure. And in here we get more money and more bombs. Could be worthwhile. Um, you know, more money to buy something from the shop on the next floor, provided we don't run into super greed. Okay. First wave done. Second wave. Ongoing. Not too bad. What's our third wave here? Turrets? No. Angel fetuses? Maybe? Zombies? Well, sucks for them. Let's charge up fully here. And there we go. Again, so far so good. I think you've really underestimated my love of Brimstone with respect to this challenge run. And also underestimated the fact that apparently there's been a bug fix. And now you can fire Brimstone instantly when you have chocolate milk. Or maybe you could always. I don't know. I just do what they tell me here. Just forget me now. We could re-roll it, of course. But why not go to the boss room first? Game, stop being so damn framey. There's no reason for it. 8-core processor. Great video card. 16 gigabytes of RAM. You're playing Binding of Isaac. We might as well... Uh, we can pick up the money. So why not? But I don't think it'll come in handy given our late game situation here. So we're basically going to do this entire floor and then I guess do it again. I'm, I'm kind of excited now for the prospect of the Forget Me Now. I think it could be a lot of fun. Could be a terrible disaster as well, although getting rid of the D6 is really all we're going to lose. So it's not the end of the world, I suppose. And it could give us some potentially great items. Who knows? Again, let's get that one out of the way. You don't want to waste your uh, first brimstone charge. Or you do want to waste your first brimstone charge, I guess. Just use it on some hood rats. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Don't really want to go to that. Oh, you know what? We're going to have two shops now, so I guess money is more valuable than I was previously thinking about. Kill him. Kill him. I guess not. Uh, here we go. We have a boss room now. Hopefully an easy boss. Well, you know, with Brimstone, it's not a difficult boss. It's still not... Oh, no! It's still not the boss... Come on! That I would ideally be fighting right now. But sometimes you have to make some sacrifices. I... This guy is surprisingly difficult right now. Luckily, Brimstone should basically destroy him. There we go. That probably should have gone better than it did. Oh, come on, Krampus. Being kind of a DB right now. Alright, so he's gonna die in a second. The real question is what we want to reroll here. I think we'll go with Squeezy for the Spirit Hearts. And we'll reroll that to get Sister Maggie. Eh, it's 
it's probably like a side grade again. Uh, we'll go get Squeezy. Two Spirit Hearts are valuable. We got a nice little familiar chain for us here. Then we're gonna walk all the way back. And in walking all the way back, we are going to get uh, the Forget Me Now. Do this floor all over again. Try to get just a little bit stronger. I'm trying to maximize my chances because we've been having some piss poor challenge, ru challenge runs lately. Let's come up. And uh, we're gonna keep going up here. This is not the right way. That is the shop. You silly goose. So if I come to the left here, I should be able to get the Forget Me Now and just immediately go down to the next floor. Cool. Don't think it's funny that you're making fun of date rape game. I mean, that makes me sound... My joke is backfired. Now I sound insensitive to date rape. Date rape sucks, guys. I don't know where to go with this. I don't know how do we how do we get on this this track for commentary? I apologize. We got a nice little swarm of familiars now. They're doing a lot of damage. Uh, we have our item room. Sadly, we have zero keys. My plan is backfired again. Okay, charge up fully. You are deceased. We cannot go in here. Uh huh. So we're gonna be looking out for more keys. Otherwise, like this, we're basically it's not a total loss because we'll still get another boss room item, but of course I was looking on getting to the shop, getting to the item room. Oh, well, that'll solve our problem completely for us. Hopefully we don't fight Greed again. And hopefully we get a chance to buy a spacebar item, like, for example, the candle, which would be beautiful for us in this situation. So we got that, we got that. And in here we have Mom's coin purse. We have PhD, so this is a valuable pickup, I think. <coughs> Well, we don't know what these blue ones do yet. Bad gas, that sucks. Health up, that's good, so I think it paid for itself already. And telepills, yeah, why not? Alright, so we're fighting Wrath. Another good chance to get an item, potentially. Although I don't really want Mr. Boom. Which is good, because he didn't give us Mr. Boom. He did give us a golden chest, and he gave us a key, so... The compensation here is okay. Give us a Judgment Tarot card, which could pay for itself, but for now, we're gonna hold on to that, use it on a later floor, maybe, because for now... Uh, I want to use my money on the shop on the next floor in all likelihood, just in case we get it, a nun's habit or something. Or not a nun's habit, uh... Blue candle. Are you serious? There we go. So we got one more here. I definitely need to get back to that item room we saw earlier. I think it was like up and like straight up? No, this is not it. Obviously. I don't want to be here anymore. We're okay. Just stand still. The familiars are doing a bang up job actually, except for that time. That was my own fault though. Yeah, familiars are, are tearing ass here. I'm, I'm pleased with this. So far, at least. Now. If we go fully up, we should be able to, yes, get our full health back. And what do we have in here? Poison Touch. This is worth taking. Because it's a passive and we can't reroll it anyway, so... Uh, certainly worth picking up. But it's also good beyond just its existence, like the fact that we have to pick it up. Uh... It's good on those final bosses when you get some invincibility. You just get hit, you run into them, you do some poison damage. That adds up over time. Yeah, this is a tough room for me right here. We're gonna basically try to kill everyone all at once. Oh, that's my out right there. I just realized that with the ladder, I can actually safely get away from most of these guys at once. Important. In our room here, we have the opportunity to pick something up, which I'm gonna do. Because I want some keys. Yes, exactly. So we got... This time we got angel fetuses. Did we do a mob trap room on the last necropolis one? Yes, we did. Why did I think angel fetuses were the final wave then? They were the first wave. And then we have zombies, which represents not a threat at all to us right now. That was close, but we got the job done. And we pick up another key. Perfect. We're going to need both of these for the next floor, provided I get another scent at some point. Please just help me find the boss room. Are you my boss room? Nothing. Well, Mask of Infamies. Not nothing, I guess. Actually, Supreme Pain's in the dick, but hey, there's 15 cents, so possibility of an item room paying off soon. Had to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight there for a second. Things got kind of close. And there's our boss room, so that's going to mark the end of this floor. What do we pick up? We got Poison Touch. Did we not get... S we got something from the shop, did we not? Yes, we bought the mom's coin purse. So we got an HP upgrade, and then we're gonna see whatever we get from this boss right here. Who's gonna be Mask of Infamy again? Interesting choice. Shouldn't be too hard. Remember, we only need to hit, like, this is a rematch. We only need to hit the head, like, twice to kill it. Maybe three times. 
Yeah, that was super easy. We get the pentagram. Incre greatly increased damage. That's awesome. Starting to think we have a chance here. So first things first, we're going to go for the shop. I almost kind of hope Greed's in the shop. He gives us a lot of money, and we're able to cash that in on um, Judgment. Well, didn't work out that way. Instead, we got Book of Revelations, which combined with our Nun's Habit is going to be very effective for us. Remember, we did not have... Uh, da, 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 what was I going to say? I totally forgot. We didn't have a spacebar item before, so it's not like we lost anything by picking up Book of Revelations there. It's, it's funny how this run started out as Commenter's Revenge, and now I'm thinking, like, joke's on you, motherfuckers. Book of Revelations, extremely high damage Brimstone. We got good shots here. Starting to get nervous, though. We have a legitimate chance of success. And that makes my, my jimmies get rustled a little bit. You know the, the meme picture for Jimmy rustling? The, the gorilla? There's actually a cereal at the local grocery store that has that picture of the gorilla, and I laugh every time. So we're going to be a little slower now. We did get a speed upgrade fairly recently, though, so it's, it's worth taking. I want to get some more money, though, in the hopes that I can use this Judgment card to good effect. Who knows, maybe pick up a Transcendence or something like that. There's also another Judgment here, so I should... Oh, that was bad. So I should probably use that first, I guess. You know, if I wanted to be truly dastardly, what I could do here is actually just use Nun's Habit and trade, like, all of my Red Hearts for Spirit Hearts in the hopes of getting, like, a full health pill later. Will this work for me? How much does it hurt when you walk on the spikes? Oh, it's going to cost us Spirit Hearts when we walk on the spikes, so it's not worth it at all. What we need is a Blood Bank or something to make that work. Uh, but we'll use Book of Revelations, of course. If we can come... There's no arcade on this floor, sadly. If there was, we could abuse it like crazy. So maybe it's a good thing. That was a dumb walk on my part, to walk on the creep like that. Well, I guess we're just going to make our way towards the... Uh, boss room here. If I find good possible locations for the secret room, I'll probably take a peek. Because again, if we get like 9 cents, that could potentially translate into another health upgrade or something. Hell, 1 cent could translate into a health upgrade, really. Get this and that. That was a difficult spell there. But there's another 9 cents. Why not go spend this on that judgment that's up there? Because I can always carry this judgment card with me to do something with the... Uh, money that we get later on in the game, where usually I'm like, oh, we got money, but that's useless. Let us... Tomato, onion. Actually, I like my sandwiches no tomatoes most of the time. I know it's crazy. You don't like tomatoes? Adds a nice tang to your sandwich. Dude, I'm not a part of your system. Don't put your sandwich oppression on me. I can have my sandwich. If I want no tanginess on my sandwich from tomatoes, no sogginess from the tomatoes is how I would call it. Then that's how I'm gonna do it. We got another tarot card here. Seriously, just pay out, man. Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Yeah! Right at the end, paid out with 10 bombs. We're immediately... gonna use one of them to blow up Wheel of Fortune. That was bad! Oh, we survived, okay. And the reason I wanted to do that was to get, you know, a little bit more money, which ended up exactly happening the way I'd planned. And we're gonna use that money to invest in our other judgment once we get up to, like, 15 cents or something. Or we get to, like, nearly the last floor. This is a way to basically take, like, a new item upgrade with us. And unbox it on a later floor, which can be good on something like the Cathedral, where, you know, I always talk like, Oh, we're done with items for now. For the rest of this run. Until the chest, anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. This is kind of difficult. We got hit there, but we did manage to get them killed as well. So just charge up your brimstone fully. Perfect. And we'll see whatever we've got in this boss room. I guess it's going to be Mom, because it has to be. And this is going to be sweet, sweet revenge. Although that shot totally whiffed. Otherwise, sweet, sweet revenge for that awful bomb fight we had last time. I said bomb fight, not bump fight. Uh, I can't even tell what's going on here. We won. That was easy. We're going to take the health. We're going to take the Polaroid, we're going to take the Tears upgrade, which may or may not make it charge faster. Not that it matters, because it can charge it, or it can fire whenever I want. But again, I'm trying to hold true to the spirit of the competition here. Or the challenge, I should say. We have a uh, Womb XL, as well as kind of the pink glitch there. But we do see where we have to go. Which means that I should be able to uh, avoid, basically, a lot of the... Our charge is actually really fast now. Well, not really fast, but faster. Uh, but I should be able to avoid taking forever on these floors, and should be able to finish them as quickly as possible. These guys are dead. Please tell me this bank's to the right. It doesn't. 
So we are going to go back down and around. I think this is basically the only way this could work now. It's like all the way down, then to the right, then back up, and we'll be in the boss room. Oh, it looks like we're maybe even closer than I had originally anticipated. Beautiful. I can live with that. At least hit thank you. I'm digging my familiars. They're working very well, too. Oh, are you kidding me? So I guess now I'm thinking, well, I guess it's kind of similar to the run I was, or the, the path I was suggesting before, where it's going to be like down all the way, then to the right, then it's going to curl up and around like a the hook, I guess. And this pill is held up, I think. Oh, that was awful walking. Range up. Well, that was not worth it, but we, at least we got this charged. Although it would have charged up soon. Oh, that one! I swear to God, my keyboard glitched up like crazy. It wouldn't let me hit the D key and move. Like, I physically... I physically hit the D key, but it wasn't actually working. I promise you. I'm not just making excuses. That first one was totally my fault. The second one, technical failure. So we've got enough keys to start thinking about maybe opening up some of these ones on the chest. That was really close. I'm gonna take this guy out from long range. I didn't even realize there was a second cyst. Oh, it's not gonna be this way. It's not gonna be straight up. It's gonna be up and around. Okay, I got you now. Revelations is charged up. We got this guy killed, which is good because that red heart may come in handy on this floor. I haven't been doing fantastically. And I'm thinking that these Isaac Blue Baby fights should be really... Oh my god. That was my fault. These Isaac Blue Baby fights should be really easy. Or easier than normal, I guess. Although, with the added problem of me not having... Uh, permanent invincibility from the Polaroid. It might be a little bit more difficult. That was not good. We're back in red heart territory because I'm garbage at this game, apparently. But hey, we got like nine red hearts, so... That's okay. We'll be okay on that, that side of things, anyway. And our boss room is going to contain... Two bosses. One of which is mom... Oh, that was so bad. One of which is mom's... Hearts. One of which is something entirely different. So let's pick up this, let's get back to full health, and then I guess uh, we'll buy, the, well not buy, but we'll bomb our way into this key, which will allow us to uh, maybe again get a little bit closer to using a key on the chest. And we're going to start with Triacnid here, who is not going to get a chance to do anything, thankfully for us, I guess. We get another Spirit Heart, of course, as a result. Some trinkets I can't use. What's our tarot card? Wheel of Fortune? Hmm. Well, Judgment's way better. What's our pill? Telepills. I don't want to use that. I want to keep Judgment just in case I get more money on a later floor. And Mom's Heart, a fight that I anticipate is going to be very easy in its own right. Come at me, bro. All of you are belong to me. That was awful dodging. Alright, Monstro died in a single hit. This is all thanks to Pentagram now. Not to mention the insane damage that we got from just our starting items. One more hit will certainly do it. That is done. Now it's up to the cathedral. I think we gotta... Oh, did I walk over the... I did walk over the creep because I'm the worst person on earth. Um, we have a good chance of succeeding on this run as long as I didn't stop taking so much ridiculous damage. Now that we got this dime, uh, Judgment, I think, is a beautiful card for us. Let's pick this up. Drop Judgment down. And we'll give him as much money as, as is necessary for him to give us a sweet item. HP upgrade, it only took two cents, that in a way I almost feel ripped off. Although I shouldn't, I should feel the opposite, but... You know, I can't help my emotions. So one greed is dead. Long live greed. Actually, short live greed. As short as possible, please. Okay, so we got all- Oh, come on! I said no tomatoes! Uh, we've got... Just a single wicked here. I bet I can kill him in one hit, and indeed I did. Let's see how Isaac can put up a fight to this. Oh, well, that was not a good start for me. The good news is we're only going to take half damage because uh, the Book of Revelations, of course, will allow us to get one heart for every two that we lose, which is valuable. And it's one spirit heart, too. So there's always the chance that I could, like, replenish a bunch of my he hearts this way and then get a full health pill. Wow, Isaac does not stand a chance. He is nearly dead. He is dead. And we only really lost one heart as a result of that. So we picked up that one. We got four keys to open the chest here. How did this all spiral out of control for me so quickly? In a good way, I guess. Well, Scapula's okay, and Odd Mushroom is okay. 
increases our rate of fire. I'm not sure if that's gonna work again with our brimstone charging. We are smaller now though, which I guess makes us harder to hit. Technically. I'm not sure if it actually works functionally, but hey, that's that's what I would anticipate regardless. And we're just basically tearing through these guys as quickly as possible. Commenters revenge my ass. We also have the chariot. We're gonna go for pestilence first. Because he will die in like two hits. Framiness is getting out of control here. Now, just one more shot on that. I thought, yes, indeed it did it. And we'll see what we've got over here. It is not a path to our boss room. Oh, blue famine. I hate you. Wow. That was very fast, actually. So I'm trying to save the chariot card, as you might expect, for the uh, blue baby fight. Just in case. This might be the path downwards here. Yes, we've got some dirty J's. You know what? This is actually a better opportunity to use the chariot. I, I hit Q! Keyboard. Don't do this to me. Just gonna back up a little bit. That'll do it. We get a little extra health. Feel good about that decision, despite the fact that it actually, in some ways, cost me some health because of the darned keyboard here. At least we're killing basically everything in one hit. Red chest is gonna give us some flies, which will probably not survive to our boss fight. Yes, they will survive to our boss fight, not that it matters that much. And I think we're gonna succeed here fairly easily. Brimstone's glitching out a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing a ton of damage. I mean, Blue Baby's firing like crazy. But I don't think my dodging needs to be that good, especially considering we have the Book of Revelations Nun's Habit combo. So this is gonna be only the second successful challenge run in terms of beating the entire chest that uh, I've had so far, I think. So thank you to, I believe it was HT23. Joke's on you, buddy. I got this, and we have completed the run. That was a fun run, but I think it didn't work out the way people anticipated. I think they expected it would take me like 30 seconds to charge Brimstone, and that would be it. Not so. It didn't take me that long at all, especially with all the tier upgrades I got. But in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Keep suggesting the challenge runs. I keep looking at them. I'll see you next time.